Greeting YouTubers, this is Alan B. Me, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the W3C editor browser called Amaya to adapt website templates that are taken from the open, open source web design website. These are designs that are available free of charge that we can use to create websites with. In the Amaya editor is a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. Uh, it also has a way to split the screen into HTML code and the rendered version up at the top or you can look at the HTML code on the right side of the screen with the render code on the left side. So we go to the W3C website which is w3.org and we download our version. In my case, I'm using Amaya for Ubuntu. I go to the open source website and download my file. Uh, you can browse the uh, templates available and pick you out a nice one. Uh, they have thousands of files available. Uh, and some of them are very, very good. I've already picked out one and extracted the contents into a test directory. And here are the files there. I picked one called 6Blue. So I'm going to go ahead and load this into my browser. I'm using Firefox 3.6. And here's what the template looks like from the open source website page. So I'm going to go ahead and load this index.html page into my Amaya and this is the opening page that you get when you first run Amaya. So I'm going ahead and uh, open this template up. I keep mine in the templates directory uh, test and six blue here and I'm going to select index. And here's what the page look like rendered inside Amaya. and compare it to what's in Firefox and they look identical. So now I'm going to go ahead and start editing. I'm going to first change the title of the website. Then change my slogan. Uh, and I'm going to start making change in my navigation once I'm finished this. Uh, I'm going to change this to links. And I'm going to edit the individual uh, links here under this. Home, about us. Uh, I'm going to do a section on Composer. And one on Amaya. And Contact Us. And I'm going to delete this last uh, link. I'll delete that. And most of these templates are for uh, blogs, for WordPress templates. So I want to get rid of this. And I'm using this feature here that I can select an element based upon the uh, CSS hierarchy. For instance, if I select div here, it'll, it'll highlight everything on the left side of the page that's within that div. And if I pick H2, which is uh, a child of that div, it's going to select archives here. And I delete that. And I'm going to select everything here. I could have selected UL, and that would have deleted everything also. But uh, on this side, uh, I'll just leave things like they are. Uh, I'll change this to quote of the day. Uh, delete these links here. And just make up a quote here. 
Uh, help me help you. Okay. Change this text. This uh, is just type something here. Uh, replace this text with my own. Just think of something short here. Okay. Now, I can do some other changes. I can delete this picture if I want. Select and delete it. Select this, delete this title also. And I can insert my own picture. Just, just find the place I want to insert it. Uh, go to this icon here. Insert a replace image. There's also a menu uh, item for that. But let's just go ahead and use the icon. I've already downloaded an image and put in this directory. Uh, and I'll go ahead and insert this. Now Maya forces you to use alternate text. Uh, it, uh, which is important for, for uh, accessibility reasons. So I'll just make up something here. There's my image. I'll change my copyright date here. 2010. I'll enter my my uh, website information. Now, the copyright information uh, is dependent upon the license. You might want to leave uh, credits down at the bottom. Now, here's a feature I can look at the page source. I can split it up vertically and see the source of the page. You also can split it vertically and horizontally. This is what you get when you split it horizontally. You have the render at the top and the code at the bottom. So I'm going to change my uh, my uh, link here in on my actual website and I want to go up to my menu and change my um, contact page and I usually save every time I do a major operation I save so I'll put contact here contact.html save it Uh, I can make another type of link uh, using the icons on the right side. You have an anchor and you also have a link. Uh, here's my link here. And I'll just put Google here. But that's how you make a, a link in, within the body of the text. Okay. I get rid of the horizontal. Here's the vertical view. Now I want to save this as my contact page. So now I'll have two pages in my website. And I just now change the content on this page to reflect the fact that this is my new uh, contact page. So I'll make this how to contact us. Unlike Composer with Amaya, you can edit the CSS. So I'm going to delete this, delete this too, and just make up some contact information. Put my name and an email address. And I'll, I'll save this. And I'll go to uh, my browser and check it out. Reload it. There's my home page check my contact page and there it is I have a two-page website 